I just got my license back like she did. Give it up. Come on. Yeah. I got you know, 10 cents worth of gas. Damn it. They was behind the bitch like, hey, you know, I'm good. I am so good. I was just making a joke about this because I did a, I actually went to jail with my old ass for the first time. Driving while suspended a year and a half ago. And you know all that tough shit people talk about, I don't give a fuck. Take me to jail. This be a bitch, I can't do jail. <laughs> you don't know you, you you don't never know you can do jail to a bitch is in jail eating shit that they call cat dog. What the fuck is cat dog? Okay? And they put me in the block with some bad bitches. I mean these bitches was walking around. They had a big butt bust and everything going, I ain't gonna say the street, 40th street. And half of them was in there, and them bitches walking around my little beating ass, you know. You know, they said, yeah, be the dope to do What you in for? Bitch, I will fuck a curve and a dog up. That's right. That's right, yeah. Yeah, come on. I'll fuck your flower bed up. Bitch, you want to fuck with me? I, I know what I might not look like. Yeah, that's all right, you know. But I, I, I'm glad to be here. I really am. I am a grandmother. My grandbaby just turned two. Give it up. That means I'm a guest. Ain't that right? Ain't that what it is? A grandmother I like to fuck? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I don't give a fuck about the Arthur, the Corsitis and everything. I'll put it on your ass for about 10, 15 minutes. You know, then feed your ass with pork chops, make you go to sleep. Like, I, I fucked you like that, nigga. You done fed your ass itis on your ass. You know, I'm, I'm joking though. Brother got me talking about being raised by a single, uh, strong black woman. I was raised by my grandmother. And I want to give it up for all the single mamas and the grandmamas that was raised in non-traditional homes. And we making it here. We making it. Because my grandmother had to put up with a little weird motherfucker, okay? Because I was weird. And that's all right. I was a clock baby. I'm going to tell y'all what that is, okay? Anytime it's school 60, anybody go to school 60 here? Ain't nobody in school 60? Damn. See, they done fucked us up. They gave us clock. Okay, let me tell you. Anytime that you had anything kind of going on, when I was little, I used to stutter a little bit. So I had problems talking and, you know, little shit. So there was those little motherfuckers in there eating paste and all kind of shit that was going on. And them little motherfuckers, they give you some clocks. And that clocks let you know when the motherfuckers come and get you for your little thing or whatever it might have been. If it was two in your glass or slow, you, you, they gave you a clock. If you was eating paste, sometimes you got a couple. You know what I mean? And I, 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 I got one because I, I, I couldn't talk like they wanted me talking smart. I just wouldn't talk. So they gave me a little clock and shit, and I'm sitting up here having my first baby beef, like in first grade. Like, this shit don't make no sense. I got three clocks and shit. What the fuck? And, and why I got more clocks than a motherfucker that's got a pull up and a helmet on? That's some bullshit. <laughs> Don't speak right to me. Why well, I got more fucking class than a motherfucker eating paste and glue and shit? That's bullshit. You know what I mean? You know, so I got my first beef. I went back to my grandmother, man. I'm hurt, man. I'm feeling slow and shit. You know, these clocks and shit, they fucking with me. And I go back to my grandmother, man. I said, you know, how come you didn't tell me I was a human being and shit? I got another clock today for that shit. You know what I mean? You so worried about motherfuckers walking out of there ashy and shit. You know what I mean? I was a human being. I got in a whole argument with that shit. Took me to the principal. Motherfucker told me I was a human being. Fuck, I'm not. I'm not no human. You are a human being. Oh. Weird. You see what I'm saying? Teacher got me sitting there tomorrow. You just out of fucking pocket. You know, you just, you know, get up. Get up from there. You know, I tell you what, we're going to take away your cream. You ain't going to be able to write. You ain't going to be nothing. I can say on the floor. So she called my grandmama. And y'all don't know Charlotte Good, like I know Charlotte Good, but she look like Blade coming up in school 60. <laughs> Motherfucking glasses, London fall, coat blowing in the wind and shit. <laughs> Nobody like to see God not come to that motherfucker. Not the principal, not the teacher, not my ass. But I was on one. I was weird. I was a clock baby, okay? So I'm on the ground and shit, I can't move. My grandmother comes up, get up from that fucking floor. I can't move. She took my powers away. I can't, I can't move. I'm going to say, you better get your ass while I take your life away. Get up from that motherfucker. I can't. I can't. She said, all right. This is back in the day where you could beat your kid's ass. She walked right out there and got a switch so fucking fast. Braided that motherfucker and came back like a lot of played in Indiana Jones and came strong. Motherfucking coat flapping. 
Yeah. You ain't gonna buy y'all never seen the slow motherfucker get up so fast. I'm like, I, I just started in. I'm like, I'm gotta go. I'm gone. We ain't got no beef. We ain't got no beef. My only other beef with her was Crisco shit. Now I wanna see how real y'all gonna be. Crisco is all purpose. How real y'all gonna be? How real y'all gonna be? got food stamps and shit. And I nobody know about the paper food stamps. Oh, okay. You, do, do you know about having to stay in the store at the last minute wait for everybody else to leave because you don't want that motherfucker to see you with the food stamps? <laughs> and then you the last motherfucker, the store about the clothes, the employees ready to go home and you found to come up with this shit your grandmama and somebody sent you with. And here comes the door. It's the same motherfucker who didn't want to ever see you or the bully. You know what I mean, the motherfucker? Ah, oh, then tomorrow, tomorrow. Did you catch on? You got food stamps. You got dance and shit. Food stamps, food stamps. You know? Ah, oh, shit, I'm so crushed. I run home. Oh, oh God. Oh, this is God. It's crushed. What's this is home, baby? She said, I ain't got no mama. That ain't my white man. That ain't my daddy. And you old. And we got food stamps. And we poor. And that shit. My grandmother was unbothered. And he said, God, 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 God was her father. She said, I'm going to tell you something. You better go back and get my shit. How you going to let some little motherfucker whose mama conduct business off a park bench and park it to tell you yeah. that's a fucking food stamp? Uh -huh. uh -huh. That bitch ain't got a house to send food stamps to and a refrigerator to put it in. You better go back and get my shit. You go better go back and tell that bitch that she ain't got a mama either. She got a zookeeper and a monkey face motherfucker. <laughs> You know, but my grandmother was a badass. She had that duality. She made that shit work. You understand what I mean? She she was not only old school. She was a politician. She was an activist, and she was all of that. And baby, let me tell you something. I stand here today. I'm doing my thing. I'm living my dream to a certain degree, and that's cool because that's what Charlotte would have wanted. Weird ass and all. I just passed the fuck out, but you know she would like this. So <laughs> she would like it. Like baby, do no weird shit. As long as you. Go do something with it, you know, but I, I laugh about that. It was fine, I was getting to the Crisco, because the bottom line is Crisco was fine until you fried all that shit up. If we didn't have lotion by the time all the shit was fried up, it was bad, y'all. I want y'all to understand, because most people, we separate that grease. Black people separate that grease. I'm gonna see how real y'all, you got your, see that's what you look over, you know what I'm talking about. Tell me, yeah, they fried the chicken and the fish grease. <laughs> You got your bacon grease, your chicken grease, your fish, got fish grease, grease, okay? Sausage grease, motherfuckers are doing. They don't play about that grease. Uh -huh. I was cool until it ran out, and you got to choose because you weren't gonna walk out of the ash. You weren't gonna walk out of the house that baby would be. I'm tired of smelling like chicken. Miss Wilson keep licking the parts of my brain. I just I don't want to smell like chicken going to school. She's like, well, you ain't doing your job there. You need to take that big bitch a, a biscuit and a wet knife. You got a, a fucking C on your test. Like, niggas get on her. You ain't working what you got. <laughs> but you ain't going out of here ashy ass. So what you gonna do? <laughs> I'll take the bacon grease. <laughs> it's a good choice, baby. I happen to know she dating a nigga that's a Muslim. You good. You, you safe today. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's my time. And I'm passing. <laughs> 